Hi, I'm Dr. David Wu from Madison Avenue TMS and Psychiatry in New York City. I'm a psychiatrist specializing in the treatment of depression and anxiety. In my practice, we use transcranial magnetic stimulation or TMS to treat depression. Our TMS devices from Neurostar have been FDA approved for the safe and effective treatment of depression for over a decade now. While TMS has not been FDA approved to treat other conditions, there is considerable evidence that it can treat more than just depression. So let's take a look at some of the other potential uses for TMS. Generalized Anxiety Disorder, or GAD, is a condition in which patients worry excessively to the point where it interferes with their life. Some studies show that TMS may treat GAD. In one study, patients were divided into two groups. One group got TMS and the other got sham TMS, which means that the patients thought they were getting TMS but the machine was not actually delivering magnetic pulses. 71% of the patients receiving real TMS found relief from their symptoms, and 43% achieved remission. This is a very significant percentage. Treating Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, or OCD, is also looking promising. Some studies have shown that using TMS to target certain hyperactive brain centers in patients with OCD can lead to a general reduction in symptoms, depression, and anxiety. Post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, is another condition that has seen success from treatment with TMS. In one double-blind controlled study, Patients were separated into three groups, sham TMS, low-frequency TMS, and high-frequency TMS. High-frequency TMS turned out to be significantly more effective at relieving some of the symptoms of PTSD. Patients displayed a mean 39% decrease in symptoms of PTSD, intrusive thoughts, hyperarousal, and avoidance behavior on the treatment outcomes PTSD scale. TMS has also shown positive results for patients who experience both depression and PTSD together. Treatment for traumatic brain injury, or TBI, is yet another new exciting development. This is because TMS is a regenerative treatment, strengthening neuronal function, especially in the frontal lobe, where many traumatic brain injuries occur. One study from the Journal of Head Trauma Rehabilitation demonstrates the promise of effectively treating TBI with TMS, but more research in this area is necessary. If you suffer from any of the conditions I have mentioned here today, I encourage you to consider TMS. TMS is usually covered by most insurance plans for the treatment of depression. However, it is important to note that not all insurance policies will cover TMS for these other uses. Because the research and evidence appear so promising, we hope this changes in the near future. To find out whether you're covered, contact your insurance company for more information. To read any of the studies I've mentioned here today, visit madisonavtms.com forward slash TMS hyphen OCD.